If you're watching this, you know you're in Antra Zubuk. And today we are here to do this amazing red pepper salsa. This particular salsa can be had in many many ways. But today I'm gonna show you this ultimate beauty on the plate. I have a beautiful fillet of grilled fish that's coming in the next episode. A beautiful bed of homemade pasta. If you haven't already seen our recipe, the link would be above and below in the description box. And the salsa on top. This is summer perfect, date perfect, and it's just a beautiful dish for the whole family to enjoy. The lockdown has not been very easy on most of us, but let's try to live it a day at a time. Now I live in the north and right now the markets are flooded with these red peppers. Look at these gorgeous beauties. They are in season because in Himachal this is the time they harvest and you will find them in way cheaper prices. To make this salsa, the first thing you need to do is flame roast your bell peppers. I love to do it on the flame because it gives a beautiful, charry, smoky flavor. But you can also pop this in the oven for about an hour or rather 40 minutes or hour. Every oven is different, so please look at it. But flame grilling will give way more flavor. When it's all black like this, I'm gonna take it out in a clean bowl and keep it covered. And I'll go on cooking the rest of them. Keeping the fire grilled vegetable covered is a very important step. What happens here is that there is a layer of moisture which gets formed between the charry skin and the flesh of the vegetable and that helps us in peeling it later i hate to wash the char away because i love the smoky flavor but if you wish to do that you can definitely do it you'll lose a lot of flavor but you can do it I keep it for about 20 minutes covered that would lower the temperature as well and that way it will be easier to peel. For now as my peppers are cooling down let me make a very simple vinaigrette for which I am gonna start adding some olive oil choose any variety that you have a cold pressed extra virgin olive oil will be a good idea to go for some vinegar any sort of vinegar I am using apple cider vinegar now for flavoring I'm gonna add in a few drops of red hot Tabasco and then I'm gonna add in some honey to balance all these flavors and after this let's add in a few pinches of salt now mix it very well so that it emulsifies together you can even put it in a jar with a cap and just vigorously shake it a vinaigrette is basically an emulsified sauce which is made with fat which is our extra virgin olive oil acid which is our apple cider vinegar and some sort of a sweetener which in this case is some honey now our vinaigrette is ready look at how beautiful it has emulsified itself we've got our peppers cooled now let's assemble this dish let's peel all these peppers properly and then grate in one clove of garlic trust me don't go overboard with garlic and don't miss it as well because even if 
the flavor of kacha garlic is not appealing to you trust me this dish gets an uplift of flavor from this one addition and now let's just mince it mince everything together like so as you can see on your screen and put it in a little bowl now add over the vinaigrette and mix it very well if possible make it about 12 hours before because the flavors will mingle together and the flavors would be very very nice and robust but if you're like me who's never prepared then it's okay to go right now also just give it an hour in the refrigerator and there you have it a beautiful side dish ready in 2 minutes not much cooking and perfect for this hot hot time of the year do make it if you do make it let me know in a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel cheers